All right, cool. So we are back with part four of my How I Edit series. So following on from the last video, today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my vlogs as well as my B-roll segments, which are edited to the music. Now, I just want to mention that this is not the only way or necessarily the best way to do it, but it is the way that works for me and it works pretty well. So if finding out how I do cinematic B-roll is of interest to you, please keep on watching. Okay, so in this video we're going to discuss how I edit efficiently and also how music can play a really important part in your video production. So firstly, how I edit. Now I know this is not the actual way that most people would structure their workflow, but this is a workflow that I find works really well and I find it gives me a really good motivation to finish the edit rather than give up midway. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new library. Now once we're here, we're going to make a new project within that library. And this is important because this is where you're going to set all of your key settings like format, resolution and frame rate. So we'll call this example video. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to do it at 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080. Now you've got the bare bones of Final Cut Pro and we need to drop some files in. Now usually the way to do that is to go file, import. I don't particularly like to do that. I do this instead. So I'll go to my finder and I'll grab my video files and I'm just going to drag them straight onto the timeline. Now by dragging them onto the timeline like this, it does drop them into your main area here as well. So you've got access to all of your video files, but I do prefer to put everything onto the timeline immediately. And the reason for that is this is my story. This is the start of the day. And by the time we get to the last frame, that is the end of the day. So if I can trim all of these bits along the way, I know that by the time I've got to my last video file, that should technically be an edited vlog. And that's the way I like to work. Now you can do it many other ways, but this is just the way that works for me. Now the next very important part when it comes to editing for me is the audio. Now I know that normally when you edit videos, you say the word video, you think video, and you don't really give too much thought to the sound, but the sound is really what's gonna help you edit nice and tightly and also make the story cohesive. So I would always recommend that you go up here and make your waveform pretty big one of these two. And what that's going to do is it's going to make the waveform a lot bigger than the video. I don't think you need big thumbnails down here because you've got a big thumbnail up here. What you do need to be able to see is the waveforms, which are these bits here. And this is showing where the speech is or other noises in the video. But if I scroll to here, I can see that there's not much other than background noise going on until these peaks. And then you can see in the video, that's where I'm talking. I find it very useful to use the audio as a reference more than the video. So if you look here, you can see there's a lot of background noise going on. There's not much happening. But as soon as I turn the camera around and start talking, you can see the audio peaks. So I know that I can edit from there, from this point here until this point here. And that's going to pretty much be the sentence that I've said. I can very easily discard all of this footage quickly without worrying that I'm losing anything, which is great because it means I don't need to watch it through. I can just find the, the peaks in the waveforms and roughly trim around that. The blade tool is probably what I use the most because it enables me to go in and using the waveforms, I can just trim my sentences and delete away the excess and I'm pretty much good to go. From there, it's very easy because all you have to do is put your cursor where you want it, select the clip and press command B. And then you can go ahead and do that over and over again and again. And because you're editing using the visual waveforms that you can see, it's easy to work out where the audio is and where there's just dead silence. And from there, you can just click and delete away. And once you've done that, you've pretty much got a nice tight edit of all of your audio with the video to match. Now, ultimately, you need to still go over and listen to everything back once just to make sure you haven't cut off any words or, or anything like that. But this is a really great way to get a good first pass at a real quick edit. And then all you need to do is listen through one more time. And that should be enough to help you get a really tight edit on your vlog. 
Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, a website, or an online store, make it with Squarespace. It's an easy to use, all-in-one platform that never needs updating and just works great. Both Kane and I built our personal websites using Squarespace in well under a day each. And I added a full e-commerce store to my site in no time, thanks to the 24-7 live support. And it looks great both on a mobile and desktop. Keanu Reeves also built his website on Squarespace. Excellent! Anyone can really make a website with it. You just have to have your own content and you're ready to go. All you've got to do is head to squarespace.com forward slash Kane and Peer and you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hey, it's Squarespace. Squarespace. <laughs> I don't think we can use that. <laughs> now, moving on to B-roll. Filming cinematic B-roll is actually a lot easier than you'd expect. Firstly, grab your camera and make sure that you are shooting at 50 or 60 frames per second. Then, when you import your footage, all you need to do is play it back at half speed, and voila, you have slow motion video ready to play with on your timeline. Now, once you've chosen a song that fits, play it through whilst the track is selected. Whenever you hear a beat or something that you want to cut to, hit the M key. That'll drop a marker on the clip and make it really simple to edit to. Then, drag your video clips on top of the audio and just start cutting your clips to those audio markers you'll now have some cinematic B-roll that plays back rhythmically in time with the music. It really is that simple. That rounds up this part of my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit subscribe and the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.